But evolutionary pressure works both ways. Over time, we have also been shaped by the parasites we carry. Uh, what do you think of those worms? Gut worms. <laughs> Will it make you feel bad? Or would you be happy to have those in your tummy? Yeah, feel bad. A bit bad, yeah. Would it make you feel a bit Val Curtis believes that parasites have shaped some fundamental human instincts. They get hungry, they can smell you. They can smell your warmth, and they come out maybe about 20 minutes, they spend sucking on you, and you don't even notice that they're there. And then as soon as they're To full, demonstrate, we set up a street stall to see what sort of reactions we'll get from parasites. Which of these things do you find most disgusting? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what about this? What does a it do? fly lays eggs on your skin and then it grows oh, under your skin. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, no. That's how big they are. Can you imagine having one of those in your leg or in your head? Val believes we evolved the disgust response to prevent us being infected with disease-causing organisms like parasites. What about this? Most people think of disgust as just being a bad thing, but actually disgust is incredibly good for you. Let's just imagine one of your great, great, great ancestors, and that maybe that great ancestor wasn't squeamish, and maybe that great ancestor went, oh, oh, oh my God. goodness, a poo, look, there's a bit of food left in there. That's no, not, that, yum, it's yum, plastic. yum. <laughs> so maybe, you know, nibble, nibble, nibble on the poo. Now, your great ancestor who does that, is he going to find a wife easily? <laughs> and not terribly well, right? Yeah. How about his children and his grandchildren? Are they going to be healthy? No, yeah. they're not. So it's a fair bet that every one of your ancestors had a good, healthy sense of squeamishness. And as a result, you have their squeamishness genes. And it grows into uh, something a bit like that. What do you think of that? To reduce the risk of infection, we instinctively find parasites and anything to do with them disgusting. Hair. The headlights. How does that make you feel? We've just had a haircut. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> the most likely source of parasitic infections is other human beings. For a social species like us, that presents a real dilemma. I want to be your friend, you know. I want to learn something from you. I, I want, and I want to exchange with you. And all of us want to do that. That's the, the human way of life. We're, we're a deeply social species. We cooperate, we exchange. But you're at the same time a bag of parasites. Yeah. You're absolutely stuffed <laughs> full of parasites. So I don't want to get too close to you. I don't want to be within spitting distance of you. And, and in fact, if you look at the way people behave around the world, we don't sit too close to each other. We're very careful about wearing clean clothes. We're very careful about not being smelly and not being, not sharing our bodily emanations. Yeah. That's good manners. So you think the manners are a product of parasites? Parasites teach us manners, and manners are fundamental to what makes us human. 